Hi, uh, let me just turn the light. So I'm going to uh, show you how to get the token holdings of a wallet. So this includes just providing the, uh, so basically the, how it works is you'll provide the uh, public key of the wallet and then you'll get the list of all the tokens and their respective balances. So, um, you know, here's a wallet that owns many different tokens in Solana. Um, and uh, so what we'll do is we'll copy this address and we'll try to get this with Python. To do so, we're going to use the blockchain API. So go to docs.theblockchainapi.com, Solana wallet, and then click uh, get addresses, tokens, and respective balances. Um, okay, so then this basically just tells you what we need, network, uh, public key, um, and it's just a get request to this endpoint, Solana network, public key, tokens. Okay, now let's go to uh, C examples. Uh, you have an example for Python and JavaScript, so if you um, using JavaScript, you can use that one. And then it's pretty simple, we're just gonna follow this. So first thing is we need an API key pair from, and we can get that at the dashboard. So go to dashboard at the blockchainapi.com and then go here and then just, uh, once you sign in, click create API key pair and uh, paste it in over here. Okay, now, because we're using Python, we have to install the blockchain API. So type in pip install the blockchain API. And if you're using PyCharm, you can just go over here go to click here down here interpreter settings and then click plus and search up the blockchain api okay so now we just import it so from from the blockchain api import the blockchain api resource and then say resource equals the blockchain api resource um oops okay so api key ID equals none we're going to fill this in a second none and then I'm just going to copy and paste the, oops, never mind. I don't have that anymore. Okay, so let's copy and paste this in. Okay, and now let's write the function. Get token holdings. Public key, we're going to get that in a second. And then you also have to import Solana Network. It's just a class that will make it easy to write. Solana Network dot main and beta. Okay. So this is what's going to be returned as an array. So we're going to loop through it and print the output. Okay. So now let's go get that public key. All right. And there we go. We have every single um, token. You can do this in any language because it's an API. So it's pretty easy to do. It's just a get request to that URL I mentioned. So look, uh, we go here. It says amount, decimals, mint address, UI amount, token address. Um, okay, so um, yeah, so basically um, the mint address and the token address are sort of two different things. Um, and so when you're actually, if you ever use, there's an endpoint we have that says like get the balance of something like of a uh, particular, like let's say you wanna get the balance of USDC in a wallet specifically, then that's where you can use this mint address, okay? Um, so now also then the decimals. The decimals just sort of say, how much do you need? Um, so let's find an example here. Um, yeah, so basically the UI amount is sort of like what you would expect. Right, like so, like let's say it's like one soul, right? The actual amount is how much it is without any sort of um, decimal change, right? So it would say, you know, a billion lamp ports or whatever, right? So like a you know billion. So there's not going to be any decimals in the amount, and the re so just a bit of background. Every token is going to have some you know amount of decimals greater than or equal to zero, and that's basically going to determine how much it's divisible into. So let's say the de decimals are nine, then there are one billion uh, parts into each token. So if I create, you know, um, block coin um, with nine decimals, then one block coin is nine billion, I mean, sort of one billion, you know, whatever uh, parts, and then that makes one block coin. So it can be divisible, just like cents in a dollar, that sort of thing. Okay, so that's the difference between amount and UI amount. UI amount is what you expect, amount is a literal amount, and then decimals is how you go from between amount and UI amount, okay? Um, 
So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Please join our community. Use the API. Um, thanks so much, and uh, have a great day.